Namaste. Today, I'll be talking about uh, HbA1c test, which is very commonly done in diabetic patients. This test, commonly known as glycosylated hemoglobin or glycated hemoglobin, tells you the average sugar levels of the last 3 to 4 months. So, glycated hemoglobin or HbA1c is a test where we go and see how much sugar your RBCs have got. RBCs as in your red blood cells. As you know, hemoglobin is the one which imparts color to the RBCs. The sugar that travels through the plasma or the liquid component of the blood, uh, it gets stuck to the hemoglobin particle. Studies have proved that the percentage of sugar in the hemoglobin will be less than 5.6% in normal persons without diabetes. It is just like an iron rod which is lying around. The more humidity and water content of the environment, the more rusting it occurs. So same way, if the blood sugars are much higher, the glycosylated hemoglobin or the sugar particles which are getting stuck to the uh, hemoglobin is higher and thereby your HbA1c is higher. Now, what should be the normal HbA1c levels? As I have summarized in the video on magic numbers in diabetes, less than 5.7 is normal, more than 6.5 is diabetes and between 5.7 to 6.4 is called pre-diabetes. And if you already are a diabetic, you have to keep it around 6.5 uh, for good control. Now, why do we keep it good? The glycated hemoglobin, in fact, triggers a series of inflammatory changes. It uh, increases the free oxygen radicals, thereby causing a lot of clotting events as well, thereby leading to uh, the cardiovascular events, heart attacks, strokes and so on. Studies have proved that the higher the HPA1C, higher the uh, risk of complications. With every rise in HPA1C, uh, the risk in fact goes up to 25 to 30 percent. So the risk of your retinopathy, neuropathy, nephropathy, everything kind of increases. To prevent these, the, uh, if you keep your HbA1c or sugars in check, the numbers are going to be good. So, this piece of information must actually motivate you to keep your HbA1c's in good control range. It, this one is not to scare you at all. And where do we get this uh, number of 3 to 4 months? The lifespan of RBC is around 120 days. So, we literally see how much glycated hemoglobin it has got. So hence we derive the average as last 3 to 4 months because there are young RBC maturing into old RBCs. When uh, people get their sugars tested and they come to me, they are very regular with diet, exercise, medications. They want to have a good result, you know, fasting, PP and all is very good. And... Uh, uh, they literally act as the uh, students who are doing their last time studies for their exam and I am the teacher sitting there. So, same way they come to me with very good results of fasting and PP. Um, because previous 2-3 days they do not eat sweets, sugars or anything. But when I ask them to do the HbA1c test and if it comes higher and it doesn't correlate with my uh, uh, fasting PP blood test, I catch them. It is there that if at all you have binged on sugars and sweets during the last four months, it kind of increases. So the Diwali and Dashara sweets all show up when people come with their HbA1c test uh, in the January season because it is the last three months which tells us. Another a contrary picture also is there wherein People would have by mistake forgotten their tablet the previous night or they would have had a party or so 
and the hbmc is normal but sugar fasting pp has gone up because of the recent um, sweet and sugar intake uh, if at all they come to me like that i do not want any hypoglycemic uh, incidents or low sugar occurring in them if i increase the sugar pills so it definitely does help me in judging whether uh, you need an increase in dose or no same way it helps us to diagnose conditions like uh, recent onset diabetes like uh, stress induced diabetes post covid diabetes and so on more importantly i advise hba1c test in women of reproductive age group before they plan their pregnancy i have had people who have come to me uh, with a full blown diabetes in the first trimester and when i checked their records earlier their hba1c was around 6 had they taken care that time they would not have developed diabetes during the first trimester itself wherein you know uh, the organ development is happening so it is extremely important to keep sugars normal during that time hba1c test also plays a preventive role in recognizing early and taking uh, adequate precautions Uh, so that diabetes doesn't develop to summarize be regular with your diet exercise medications your sugar checks do your hba1c test regularly and keep it in check and have a healthy happy and contented life take care bye